Hey, how's it going everyone? Comic Quarter 210. Back at you with another pretty big comic book haul for you guys to check out. Uh, it's been maybe almost two months since I've made my last video. Just been really busy guys, but I mean, what I'm about to show you is going to make up for the wait. And uh, why don't we just get started right into it. And this first book, it's the only modern book that's going to be in this haul. I just, it's some, it's a new story out right now, but I just love the cover, so I had to grab it. And it's the web of venom, that cult of carnage. Yeah, like I said, I saw it and I was like, you know what? I'm taking that with me. And then I got some Deadpool fillers from the 90s. Got the Circle Chase number two. Then we got number three then end it with number four and i do have number one it's somewhere in my collection but yeah just deadpool filler so i was like at a a little i guess you say toy expo whatever and comics cards whatever and um guy was selling these for two bucks a piece and i got the villains united number one then i have another one which the i mean cover b or variant however you would like to say and then i got the sketch cover And he wanted two bucks each, so he sold all these three to me for four bucks, so saved a couple dollars. Got, uh, got to put those in my collection. And um, he also had this one he was selling for five, but I got it often for two. Um, a Superman filler, but I mean, it's Jim Lee, so I mean, I couldn't go wrong with him. Superman 208. A really great cover by the fantastic and legendary Jim Lee. And I like how you have Batman, Wonder Woman, Marshman, Hunting Green Lantern in the back. Like I said, amazing looking cover. And this one, I mean, I've been having a thing for, um, I guess, yeah, a little pet peeve for the Tomb Raider comics. And I have a few, but all the other ones I have are the Michael Turner covers. And I mean, oh man, this one's just a beautiful looking book. And I mean, you're gonna know why right now. Very nice. Adam Hughes cover. But yeah, I'm gonna kind of on a hunt to find these. I mean, you go on eBay and I could find them, but I mean, I prefer, you know, the hunt, I guess you could say that they say. Yeah. Good looking book. And I got some Wolverines for you guys to check out. Um, and it's funny because this one that I'm about to show, um, I've been seeing everybody pop this book up and I came across it and I was like, I mean, it's a great looking cover. So you got the Wolverine 154. Deadpool on it Wolverine finding Deadpool we can't go wrong with that but like I said a lot of people have been like just getting this book and I mean I don't I understand why and I just came across it dude only want dude wanted 15 bucks I got it from him for seven and I mean I couldn't pass that pass that up but yeah really really nice then we got the great legendary cover, Wolverine 55, the Sabretooth decapitation variant. I mean, shh. I mean, I always see this book go for like 20, 30 bucks. The guy I got it from wanted 25. He sold it to me for 15. Nice book. And this is actually going to be my second copy of this, but this is like my favorite favorite Wolverine story Old Man Logan it's Wolverine 66 with the first part of the Old Man Logan story and I gotta say you know 
I mean, if you've never read this fucking amazing story, I don't know where you've been, you know, like, everybody has their opinions, but when it comes to me and uh, Marvel, it the books you have to read is always going to be between this one or the original Civil War. Like, those books are just fire. But, yeah, like I said, second copy. Guy wanted uh, 30 bucks, sold it to me for 10 I'm really good with the guy I got these Wolverines from. Um, he always hooks me up because I've been getting books from him for, like, maybe going on six years. But, yep, glad to say I have a number two. I might sell the old one. We'll, we'll see what happens. They got a Spider-Man filler. They got the uh, Amazing Spider-Man 95, uh, where he takes a vacation and goes to London. Like I said, just a filler for my Spider-Man run. And then this one, um, this is the Fantastic Four number 73. Um, honestly, I'm not a Fantastic Four guy, never was. The only reason why, I mean, I've always wanted this one and I finally picked it up. I only wanted it because, I mean, you got the Fantastic Four going against Spider-Man and Thor. I mean, Daredevil's cool, but, I mean, Spider-Man and Thor, I'm huge fans of those characters, so I, I had to have it. So, yeah, I think this may be like my third in my whole collection that's a Fantastic Four title. Yep. Very nice. And then, um... Avengers number 11, another Spider-Man guest appearance or appearance. Amazing, amazing looking cover. Sp uh, Avengers stuck in the Spider-Man web. I have a thing for the old uh, Spider-Man guest appearances. I have a, uh, I can't remember what number it is, but the first appearance of Spider-Man in the X-Men title. I have it, I just can't remember, but yeah, I love stuff like that. We got another one. Not a Tell Us the Astonished fan, but I mean, like I said, Spider Man appearance. Uh, Tell Us the Astonished number 57. Really, I mean, I, I mean, this is beautiful. Beautiful. Really love this cover. And then I got uh, from, we're going to go to some Thor. Uh, filler right here but also uh, this is the mighty thor number 164 um this is a filler i do i mean i love the cover it's i really love how the green sticks out but i mean i'm not an adam warlock fan and i know that he's making a buzz but i think i've heard this is like his third appearance i could be wrong but like i said i'm not a warlock fan never was but i'm pretty sure someone will tell me well, yep another filler from my thor run and then for my journey into mystery run like i said i'm a huge thor fan filler got the journey into mystery number 97 guy wanted 55 dollars for this at the expo i went to he sold it to me for 20 bucks he gave me a deal because he said i kept going through all his boxes numerous times so he, he was like so I could tell you're, you're you know, you're, you're being picky, like which ones to pull out. So he gave me a deal and I took it. I mean, an old Silver Age Journey into Mystery. I mean, I love these old Thor books. And then I got another one. This one's a lower grade, but this is the Journey into Mystery number 103. This is the first appearance of the Enchantress and the Executioner. Like I said, it's it's a low grade. I mean, I mean maybe I'm, nah, I would I wanted to say 4.0, but I mean look at the size and the spine. I mean it's complete and that's all that matters. And eventually, yeah, there will be an upgrade. But like I said, glad to have it. And throw it in my filler run. And um, for my tells of suspense run. Got number 47. Uh, guy wanted uh, 100 bucks, sold it to me for 60, I believe, or 50. 
Um, I mean, it's it's not. I mean, it's like man, maybe mid grade. I mean, I'm not the greatest like grader. I mean, I'm honestly been probably grading for like a year personally, but I would say mid grade. I'm pretty sure someone will correct me, but I mean, yeah, you got this, but I mean, the spine is not too bad. And it, I mean, it's complete, but then again, like down here, you got that little tear. But, I mean, early Iron Man appearance, I mean, gold armor, you know, really nice. And um, I got to give a little credit for this one, because this is kind of like, I mean, this is kind of a honor right here going on. So I always listen to Bub's Comics live chat, the No Faces chat. And I can't remember who it was on his chat who was talking about these titles, but it kind of got me interested and I ran into him. But I don't know, you know, I'm giving credit where credit is due. I really love the No Faces chat. I mean, they, I don't know, they're like pros when it comes to this shit. But anyways, one of them was talking about the Atlas books and it got me interested. I was like, you know what? I'm going to have to look into that. And I didn't really even look into it. I went to that Vintage Expo I've been talking about and I came across the adventures into terror number 13 i mean yeah it is not the highest grade but i mean it is complete i at first i didn't think the staples are on it because i asked the guy can i you know check it out because i mean i honestly thought the staples you can't even see them and even when you take it out you couldn't see them i thought the staples were gone but no they're there it's just you know it's a worn out book and um I mean, even, I mean, of course, we all know grade matters when it comes to prices, especially for these books. And, like, even low grade like these, I've seen them go for a hundred bucks, like 80 to a hundred bucks. The guy wanted 90. I talked him down to 45. He was the same guy who uh, hooked me up with um, Journey to Mystery Number 55. Um, cool guy, gave me his car, whatever. I kind of want to see. He has a, a lot more amazing shit, too, but I pulled these from him. But yeah, like I said, uh, my very first Atlas book, uh, Adventures in Terror, number 13. Glad to say I have one now, and eventually I will get more. And then let's go on to my favorite. I said the best for last because, I mean, I'm a huge DC fan. And I also like these old Brave and Bold um, titles. So this is pretty much a, a lot of Hawkman. And this is uh, Hawkman number 35. Um second or third appearance silver age appearance of hawkman of course i i am working on getting a number one eventually uh fuck, i forgot what the number was but anyways yeah got number 35 um and there's hawkwoman she's all right um <clears throat> then we got number 36 um i believe this is the first appearance of shadow thief pretty cool villain i mean new 52 kind of messed him up a little bit but whatever shit happens um and thing about these hawkman ones because i got a few more i'm gonna let you guys see they are like like high grade like i'm, I'm honestly gonna say 8.0 i mean these books are like pretty solid grades then we got number 42 i really like how you know green pops out really really nice got number 43 another good looking cover and we got number 44 I think these are called blazer covers because how, man, I think Reaper State, another great channel too, by the way, guys, Reaper State was talking about how there's, there's these blazer covers and I'm not for sure, for sure, but I think this is a blazer cover because it's so, it's all mostly black with the coloring over, but I could be wrong, but I mean, it's a fucking nice looking fucking cover, but yeah, for sure someone will correct me. And that's it for the Hawkman. This down to some Batman, some filler runs for Silver Age, and um, I've been wanting these for a while because these are these two I'm about to show are Joker covers, and um, 
these nice high grade Joker, Old Silver Age Joker covers are like pretty pricey. And I mean, yeah, he's there, but I mean, it's a Joker cover nonetheless. He's got 136, Batman number 136. Another filler for my Batman Silver Age run. And then this one, I like this one more. So you got 159. Really nice. And then we got Detective Comics 359. I'm pretty sure we all know which one this one is, but if you don't, it's the first appearance of Batgirl, the Barbara Gordon Batgirl. Um, I mean, it's not, I mean, shoot, 3.0, 2.5. I mean, a little great, but I I have it now, and event, yeah, of course, eventually later on it will be upgraded. But now, I say I have her first appearance, and like, yeah, you can just see the spine's pretty messed up, and yeah, um, and that's be it. I mean, thanks for seeing what I got, guys, and um. I just made myself an Instagram. I don't know if you're interested. Um, it's the same name as my YouTube, Comic Quarter 210. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and get a little bit more out there when it comes to comics. I was never a social media person, but I'm trying. But yes, eventually. Yes, but anyways, thanks for all the love, support, comics, and subscribes. Thank you.